Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Jack of All Trades. Like always, I've promised that if I have to fix anything at the house, I will bring you along and show you just in case you have to fix it too. So today we are fixing the pool heater on my pool. And uh, what the condition was that we got was that we were trying to turn the heat on, the blower would kick on, uh, I noticed a few hours later the temperature hadn't changed in the pool, so I had to start troubleshooting it. Now this is for a Pentair Master Temp 250, all right? But if you have a Pentair heater that looks like this, odds are it's going to be very much the same. And what you're going to be seeing here is that you're going to get no heat. And when you turn the pool heater on, you'll get, you'll get a service heater light. Now I know the system light is on right now, but that kicks off whenever the, the pool pump is on. You actually get a service heater light that'll kick on. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what I found out and what you need to do to resolve this. All right, so hopefully you can hear me because the pool pump is on now. I just wanted to show you what exactly I was getting and what it sounds like. So you'll turn the pool heater on, you'll hear the fan kick on, but then you will not hear the burner try to kick on after that. Now the burner for the gas burner sounds kind of like a flamethrower. It's like a hard to explain but it's an additional sound on top of the exhaust fan that kicks on it won't kick on at all and that'll kind of give you a clue that there is a switch or a sensor inside it that is not getting something that it needs to allow that permission for that gas burner to kick on so it's some kind of safety that's that's not coming or some sensor or switch is is not activating properly and that's just a safety mechanism to keep there from being a fire okay so Here's what it sounds like. You hear the exhaust? Usually within a few seconds, you get the uh, the burner sound as well. Okay, and then my, my red service light is on. Service heater, okay? Now, uh, my the situation that I'm going to go through here is uh, could be slightly different than what you have. Uh, this is this is one of many ideas. Um, if you do get the burner to kick on, but it kicks right back off a few seconds later, that could be your uh, one of your safety switches that are in the front of the front of the 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 actual heater itself. Okay, so there's one. You see those wires. Okay, and there's three switches here all right so as you can see here uh, the previous owner has already taken some measures to keep something from getting in here I'm going to assume rodents but it's only on the front side here and, and as you can see there's actually uh, there's crevices where a small mouse could get in there and the back's not covered at all right and there's some pretty big uh, vent holes back there so that alone tells me um, that we could have a problem with that. So what you wanna do is you wanna take off the two side panels, okay? Both the black panels on either side, I've already got this one off. And then there are some uh, little butterfly wing nuts that are right up here, okay? They look like this. They're on each, all four corners. You need to take those off, okay? You wanna make sure your system's off too. You can pull this top cover off. Okay, now there's a control board back here, okay? So you wanna make sure you don't bend those wires. But immediately when I open this up, it smells like a zoo, all right? There's a lot of rat poop in here. And what I notice here is all these vacuum hoses that are at the intake of the, the blower, they're all chewed up by a rodent or a squirrel or something, okay? All of them are chewed up. So this provides vacuum to these sensors and these sensors allow the gas to kick on, okay? And it regulates it. So there's three of them. All three of them are chewed up and this is an easy fix, okay? This is a quarter, quarter, one quarter inside diameter hose, three eighths outside diameter. It's rigid so it doesn't collapse, okay? So what's happening here is the intake of the pump is not providing suction to these to allow these sensors to open up to allow the gas to flow. So once I replace these three hoses, it should work. So I'm gonna replace these three hoses and then I'm gonna put some uh, mesh, some more mesh around this heater to keep the rats out. 
and uh, I'll show you what I did after I'm done. Alright, as you can see, all three hoses are new and replaced. Okay, I haven't kicked on the heater yet, but uh, just keep in mind this is uh, inside diameter one quarter inch, outside diameter three eighths. Uh, there's two hose clamps right here on this section. The rest of the connectors are barbed, so they'll be in place uh, and they're not going to move. So just keep in mind too also, uh, before you start this, take a picture of the routing of the hoses with your phone so that if you forget which where they go, uh, you know, you, you could you could you know easily pull the photo up and find out you know where they route again. It's not really something you can mess up though because I mean these come to the same spot. So if you had these swapped, it wouldn't matter. Uh, this one appears to be slightly further in, but it's all they all provide suction. So let's go ahead and kick it on and see what we got. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and kick it on. Uh, I haven't done any any kind of prep to to keep the rats out. Uh, I think most of you guys could figure that out. You just get some small mesh wire from Lowe's and then you get these little tiny screws with a with a big shoulder on them okay and you just block off these ports where they can get in and do that all the way around and um, some of these spots might be tighter you might have to shove some like steel wool or something in there to keep that out but anyway let's go ahead and kick this on and see what we have service light went off heating light is green that's a good well listen burner kicking on and you can feel the exhaust coming out of the back from the burner so that's it uh, hope this helps some of you guys out uh, if you have any questions put them in the comment section below and I'll see if I can help you anyway uh, stay tuned for more videos hit that like and subscribe button if you want to stick around for the next break all right take care okay, bye.